jealous. Me jelly, the jealous ghost. That is what you were thinking. We grew up together. She's a mate. <gasps> mate. Friend. Mate, maybe if I slashed Jacko's tyres again at night when he couldn't see me. I know. The punt. Just put it out of action. A small mechanical problem. <laughs> chasing after you? Pretty old fashioned around here. You know, if you wanted to come back to the city, you could probably come and live with us. I mean, Mum really likes it. Looks like someone's doodling to me. Bad doodling at that. I think it's a map. A map? I found the map. You got to get over there now. But it's my birthday dinner. Are you a feral or not? Yeah, but I want this. I want that map. Do you hear? So Liam was at the help, and the map was at the help. And Nellie was jealous, and Liam was scared. And I was with Maxie, and we were at Ferrell's, where the dinner was cold, and the cake was worse than Dulcie's seen. And Mum was cringing, and Dad was bored, and Bridget was a dork. And back at the help, the power went on, and Liam panicked, and the lights glowed, and the map was forgotten, and Nellie saw Liam duck for cover and hide in the pantry. And the radio screamed, the juice to juice, the toaster popped, and right at that moment, Dixie knocked on Ferrell's door with the news of the punt. Someone sabotaged it. The whole engine's been blown up. The whole engine? And that's the story. Well, so far. It didn't stay that way for long. Jules, wake up. What? Come with me. I've got a surprise for you. Help me through the world. Take me by the hand. Stay close by my side. When I need a friend. Once upon a time. I believed I didn't need any help but mine Then you came along and you showed me I was wrong Help me through the world Take me by the hand Stay close by my side when I need a friend It was obvious from Ellie's shocked reaction that she wasn't making this up. Clearly, Liam had been locked in the pantry. And clearly he found some way out. The question was, how? Calmly, rationally, I surveyed the possibilities. This is ridiculous. He can't just disappear! Are you sure you haven't? I haven't gone anywhere. I locked him in and I haven't left the room. There must be another door somewhere. Another door? It's a pantry. Pantries don't have other doors. Well, where is he then? She had a point. I didn't know it then, but actually, Liam had managed to fall straight through a secret panel. <laughs> and he found himself in the very tunnels that were marked on his dad's treasure map. Fortunately, because the place was so spooky, he never even thought about looking for the treasure. He just wanted to get out of there. So off he went. Searching for the signs that said, exit this way, or maybe an air conditioning duct, like the ones that James Bond always calls out for. Until finally, after about six hours of going round and round the tunnels without seeing one sign of one air conditioning duct, the horrible truth dawned on him. There's no air conditioning. I'm gonna starve to death down here. And he could have too, because I just thought he got out and gone home. So I wasn't going to keep looking for him. Did anyone have a midnight snack last night? Mm -hmm. The pantry was a mess this morning. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. You didn't go sleepwalking again, did you? Well, I would just like everybody to note that it took 
ten minutes to clean it up, and I don't want to do it again. Pancakes, anyone? Hey, I was wondering, after hearing that dulce woman singing the hits of the dark ages last night, what do you reckon we get out and show this town what real music is? What, go busking? Hmm. What is busking? We sit ourselves up on a corner somewhere, we put a hat down, we play a few songs, and if people like the songs we do, they throw a few cents in the hat. A few cents? Yeah, you know, money. Pennies. Like minstrels? Yeah. And is Maxie a good minstrel? Yeah, she's all right. Well, okay, she's pretty good. Ellie, cut it out. Ellie? Well, okay, she's not that good. What about Liam? What about Liam? Well, where is he? we hit them with? How about ten good hard rockets? Fine, which ones? Back in the USSR, Tucker's Daughter, Rock Lobster. How do they sound? Great. Then what about green sleeves or something to change your pace a bit? What's wrong? Green sleeves? Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. That green sleeves? Yeah, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? It's a Mr. Whippy song. It's a sweet melody. Sweet. Sweet! Jules, come on! We're talking about rock and roll here, aren't we? Well, because of Ellie, I'd grown to like that sort of stuff. Well? How could I tell Maxie? Julian, are you there? Saved by the bell. Oh, I'd be a sec. I... It's private. Hi. I just came over to see what you are doing. G'day. Glad you can make it. Great night last night, wasn't it? Yeah. And that Dulcy boy. Oh, isn't she something? <laughs> yeah, she sure is something. Private. Haven't got a clue where Liam is. All I know is that he went out somewhere last night and didn't come back. He didn't? Where did he get to? Search me. I don't even know what he went out for. I know I'd never leave my party before the cake got cut. Jules? This was really starting to get weird. If he hadn't gone home, then where had he got to? And how did he get there? And what had he been doing here in the first place? I had three questions and no answers. <laughs> Actually, at about that time, and by sheer luck, Liam stumbled upon the exit to the tunnels. And this one let you get both in and out of them. So he didn't starve to death down there after all. Worse luck. What do you mean, what did I want to see Bridget for? I just wanted to talk to her. I did, honest. What did he think I wanted to see her for? What do you reckon? Maxie! You don't think... Me and Bridget! She's a non-entity. Maybe you like non-entities these days. How do I know? You've dumped me for someone. I haven't dumped you. Well, I'm sure as hell starting to feel dumped. Maxie. Maxie, Maxie, Maxie. You can't get sore at me over Bridget O'Farrell. I'll never, ever, ever go out with Bridget O'Farrell. She's a nothing, a nobody. She only got into the human race on preferences. All right. But there is someone, isn't there? No. There isn't. Jules. There's nobody alive today who I like more than you. Mm. Well, if that's true, how about giving me a kiss? But what would you do? I mean, so what if you're two-timing? When you're my age, you can't refuse a kiss. Unless, of course... Um... What? Um... I think I just saw Mum. I think she's coming in. Let's save it, huh? Dad? Hey, Dad. Guess 
what? I found them. I found the tunnels. And I know how to get in and out of them too, so whenever you're ready to go look for the treasure, just let me know, okay? I'll take you there. So, how'd I do, huh? Was I a feral or not? How'd I do, Dad? Dad? Hey, Dad. Now, if girls want to overreact to a kiss, I mean, what had I done? Ellie. Besides, I knew I'd be forgiven when the crowds rushed to hear us play. Get it on, all along. I feel so good, it can't be wrong. Give me room, got me through. I couldn't stop if I wanted to. I couldn't stop if I wanted to. Oh, oh, oh. Keep the rhythm rocking, baby, don't let go. Move into the music with the lights down low. Baby, don't let go. Move into the music with the lights down low. Jumping on the dance floor till you feel alright. Keep the rhythm rocking all night. We should be looking for Liam. We must find out what he was saying. Soon, there's no rush. What? Nothing. Nothing. Finally made it home, did yep, you? Yep, and yeah. wait till I tell you what. Now, just give it to me first. I don't want to hear all the details. Sorry? The map. You did get it, didn't you? Uh, well... Now, don't tell me you didn't get it. <sighs> you didn't get it. But there's a good reason you I said... I don't care about I... reasons. How am I supposed to find the treasure if I haven't got the map? But I've got to explain... You're a donkey, Liam. You're a donkey. First of all, there was Jacko's tyres, then there was the punt, and now What's there's this. What's wrong with the punt? What's wrong with the punt? All I wanted was out of action. All you had to do was pull out a couple of spark plugs or something. What did you do? You blew up the entire engine. It's going to cost me a fortune to fix it. Well, it's a last straw. I don't want to hear another word out of you for the rest of the week. But I've got it. Just one more word. Just one. And that pig of yours is lunch. <laughs> There must be somebody who likes rock and roll in this town. Yeah, right, we know you do. What if we play? No, we're not playing green sleeve. Just a thought. Jules. Well, it's just not on. What about Hungry Heart or something? Do you remember how to play that? Hey, where are you going? Just um, up here for a sec. See what's around. See what's around. Nothing's around. See more life in a wax museum. Unfortunately, I was about to find out that while it? no one else could see Ellie face to face. I'll have to go back, Sam. I think you should too. We still have to find out what. They could see her reflection. What? Dreaming it. 
I saw her. There was no one there. Hi, guys. How are you going? lying to me. George has been lying to me ever since I got here. There's no one alive. You said no one alive today who I like more than you. What a joke. It was the truth. That good, huh? Quit lying. I saw her. What do you think I am? Blind or something? How can you seriously, how can you honestly seriously stand there and tell me there isn't someone else? Maybe you should tell her. What? What do you mean, what? Tell her. There is, isn't there? Okay. Okay, there is someone who... Who is she? Yes, who is she? Will you let me explain, all right? It's that girl in town, isn't it? I'm not an it. Yes. Yes. What's her name? Her name's Ellie. Eleanor Lockett. And she's about this high. And she's got long blonde hair. And she wears cute old style lace. I be seen dead. It's funny you should say that. Say what? She's a ghost. A what? A ghost. You know, like Casper or... Casper! Okay, not like Casper. Like a person who's... Hang on, where's the mirror? I'll show you. I'll show you what she looks like. Except the only problem is you can only see her in a mirror. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. All right. You ready? Hold this. Ellie? No. Ellie? I don't think I like being called Casper. Um, I'm sorry. She's gone. Oh. Hey, don't cry. I'm sorry. That's it. Anyway, Farrell made sure the punt stayed broken and money became pretty tight and supplies got low. Mum and Dad never said much, but I could tell they were worried. Oh yeah, and I had a birthday. I got some flour. All the bread's gone, but... Oh well, at least we can have a birthday cake tomorrow. Mm. Uh, Jules. About the, uh, party. You haven't invited Bridget. Oh, no, no, no. No, but, um... Uh... I was wondering if there was someone else you'd like us to invite. Look. Look, uh, I know that you've made friends with someone else. And, uh, and Maxie knows too, of course. So, well, it is something that you are going to have to be a bit careful about. But if you want to invite whoever she is, it's fine by us. We'd love to meet her. Just let us know. No, it's okay. Are you sure? I'm sure. Really. All the drama of the last few days had made me realise a lot of things. Like, like as much as Maxie would always be a mate. Ellie was different. At least, that's how I felt about her. I didn't know how she felt about me. decades I have lived unseen, trapped out of life by an act of violence. Then you arrive to free my world of silence, and I thank you for the friend you have been. But you are older now than I will ever be. Days come for us both, but do not go for me. We exist in one space under different rules, but I'll always love you, so happy birthday, Jules. Please place this folded note in a pocket. It is all the gift I can offer. Eleanor Lockett. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. 
for he's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us. Now, will you take those glasses off? Mum, they're Maxie's present. Julian? Yeah, if you're wearing hers, how come you're not wearing ours? Hiking boots and a backpack. Don't you like them? No. I like all my presents I got this year. Oh? What else did you get? Nothing. By all, I just mean what you guys gave me. That's all. And if you want to know what my wish was, tough. I'm not telling you. <laughs>